This is St Catherine's Docks. It was designed by Thomas Telford in the late 1820s and built on the site of the former 12th century hospital, St Catherine's by the Tower. This building here is Ivory House and it's the only building in the docks that survived the Blitz in World War II. The property is being marketed exclusively by Fine & Country, so please see the contact information at the end of the video. So, let's take a look inside. The flat is located on the first floor and as you enter there's an abundance of original features. From the steel beams to the iron framework, this beautiful barrel brick ceiling and there's an original stone paved floor which just glistens with age. The majority of windows have louvered blinds and some of the windows even have the original heavyweight iron shutters. This exceptional reception room is flooded with light due to its triple aspect. It also has views over both of the docks marinas and the River Thames. But my favourite feature are these French windows that lead to a charming Juliet balcony. The hallway runs centrally through the apartment with rooms off to both sides. Now this is the principal bedroom, complete with ensuite bathroom and walk-in wardrobe. You really feel that recurring theme in here of the building's history and construction. I love these iron shutters and the way the water glistens off the walls. There are four bedrooms in total, this one being the biggest of the guest bedrooms, and it is big, bright, and beautiful, a bit like me at the moment. You also get these stunning views out onto the marina. The thickness of the building's walls and the very discreet double glazing give a wonderful warmth to the building and excellent sound insulation. St. Catherine's Docks is surrounded by water and has plenty of bars, cafes, restaurants and easy access to the transport network. This property comes with two underground secure parking spaces on the adjoining street. This is Ivory House. For more information on this stunning apartment or to arrange a viewing, please see the following contact information.